we are going to take everybody to... Oh, okay. First, we are going to uh, talk about a Positively Jax. This thing is heavy. Okay? It is very heavy. You read heavy. while I pick this, this thing up. This is an amphibian oh. phenomenon that has caught the attention of people living in Mandarin. Yeah, look at that thing. It's a frog. You notice some of these frogs <laughs> popping up around town. It's for a good cause. The problem is no one knows who is doing it. Channel 4's Krista Moyer met the man who is behind the froggy movement. If you live or drive around Mandarin, you've probably seen these. Frogs all around, sometimes in the trees, in the street, making a path. It has many people wondering. What these frogs are doing here? Well, I found the mysterious frog man who's been making his mark all over Mandarin. I'm a thief in reverse. I'll leave something. Frogman doesn't want to be identified, but I can tell you his family has been a part of Mandarin since the 1700s. They were mayors, they were justices of the, of the city. He made his first frog as a project in 1987. It wasn't until last year when he decided to share his hobby with the community. There was so much stuff going on bad last year and year before that I just said people needed a smile. But the frogs quickly disappeared from the parks, city officials saying... They were historically inappropriate for the park. I thought I'd be in jail by now if you don't know the honest truth for vandalism. That only motivated him to create more. Some blend in, while others stand out. No two are alike. All I want people to do is just look at them and enjoy them. But now they're taking on another purpose. The profits from each frog goes to benefit the Mandarin Museum and Historical Society. More than $4,000 donated so far this year. It's overwhelming. I would have never thought... When I put the first one down there on that stump over there, that this would be such a phenomenon. He says he enjoys creating the frogs and has even started making squirrels. It's all for the community, and he doesn't want any praise. A lot of these people, they don't, I worked for them. They don't even know me. They know me as the frog man. My alter ego. They may not know who this frog man is, but his neighbors support his hobby and what it stands for. We love them. And I think it's a wonderful story. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.